but I want to thank God for allowing me to be here and be amongst so many great men beyond uh, yes. you fantastic ladies, uh, Felicia, Katina, you know. Y'all been awesome on the station, man. And big shout out to the big KB station because without this station, I don't think the community be kind of still be a little lost because Roscoe been doing it so long and doing it for the community. You know what I mean? From That's churches, right. political, everything comes through this station and it gets out to the community. So we have to be grateful for this radio station. For That's right. I'm very blessed and grateful to be here today. That's right. And I'll, and I'll add to that, you know, Mr. C. Wright, he actually... Um, he's a huge part of this because yeah. this is his segment that he pays yeah. for yeah. to yeah. allow yeah. You know, yeah. our people in the community yeah. to come out yeah. and yeah. speak. I can't pay for it. Right. <laughs> 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 Just so you know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. But that's a man in business. Yeah. And see, that goes to show that when we are in business, business people can make moves. Yeah, exactly. And so we have to learn how to, yeah, it's great to have a job. But it's even greater to have a business. Yeah. Because a business, you able to employ people, you able to make sure that their families get fed because you pay them. Then they can get four hundred one k. They can get all those insurance. Yeah. Right. I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying. What we said, yeah. being connected. That being was connected. That's, that's right. That's, that's right. right. Yeah. And that's what people don't understand is that you know it's the connection. You know, a lot of times people are too afraid to connect to the next person, you know, because they think that they're going to get more than, yeah. than mm -hmm. this person or whatever. But really, if you would just step out and you'll you'll understand and it open up more doors. You know, that's what they always say. Don't go in with a, with a fist. You know, always come with an open hand. That's yeah. kind of like how my story is because with this year, well, we're going to, what I'm here today, I'm going to talk about, uh, my youth program was my foundation called Me and Mine's Foundation, and it, it's been a big topic. I've been all over with it, and I'm promoted. I run a business, World well Elite Entertainment. Been doing entertainment over 20 years, so after we got through celebrating my 20 years doing that, awesome. I got right back focused on the kids, you know. Right. But yeah, with this foundation, it really, really means a lot because this year was so big, I had to come out of let my pride be my guide because I've been doing it for like four years now just with kids and it's mainly kids who go through uh, mental abuse, families uh, with gun violence uh, and it just once I brought that in we just got the foundation and started promoting family connections, stop the violence, being a life coach to the kids right. so, and, and it wasn't just me it was just like I woke up and when I wake up and when God speak I was like, gotta yeah, when God speaks, mm -hmm. and that mountain right there, man, you got to jump off it like it's a diving board, because mm -hmm. he got you, he got you. I That's didn't right. go jumping, reaching for no branches. You know, my mom installed that in me at a young, young age, believing in God. So, you know, and then when he speak, it'd be so powerful, I took that jump. Boom. But, you know, it was a passion, because I see the kids, I hear their story, and I just went for it, you know, and that right. mean... Did couple, you just do um, something? Yeah, June 1st. Every, right. every beginning of the summer, I do a me and mine's turn up where it involves the parents and the kids can play games, have dance contests against each other, you know, and that's how I started off with doing a daddy-daughter dance competition five years ago, actually, with my daughter. And it went from that to, to, to implement myself with fathers, being spending more time with their kids because I have so many friends that, you know, they complain about my baby mama this, baby mama that, you know, I had to tell them, calm down, brother. Your time is more important than your money. Your That's time, right. you put that time now, they're going to notice that time before your grind. What so, you know, know. You once you do that. <laughs> I don't mean to stop it. I don't mean to stop it. And I really, I'm on my way on out the door. I got to go get my chat. It's <laughs> been my time. But, yeah. Okay. You said, again, help me out now. Your time is mm -hmm. more important. Than your brain. Oh, oh, man. Yeah. Now, the stuff that we that the men have given you today. Yes. We need even charge for that. You probably yeah. should have set the connection played out into the community. Oh, yeah. I got a hug cap. I'm just trying to say. <laughs> because I got a foundation to be a donation. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, I'm just saying, you know, take that stuff and let it marinate. Let it marinate. Oh, oh, yeah. no, the they doing something. They showing they out today. They showing out today. And, and you say to yourself, who knew? You right. know, because they get such a bad rap, yeah. you know. If we don't have this conversation today, 
Who knows? No. That's right. And I know I can't keep going on without announcing my fiance. She's been fantastic. Tanisha Washington. She uh -huh. worked with kids, and, and and you know when she got motivated, you know when she got time because her job schedule, you know when she can't do it, I'm gonna do it. You know, and she have a business voice of the future. That was Felicia. That was our Miss Influencer. Yeah, she's Listen, a good. Oh, yeah, she's an influencer now. Yeah. Oh yeah. She's searching for talent. You know. Yeah, cause we yeah. fell in love with you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She, she's wonderful with the kid too, oh, searching yeah. for talent when, when oh, yeah. that, oh, yeah. that be like through the winter time, you know, she she goes out promote looking for kids that can sing and we had this big singing uh contest and, and it goes from there to you know, I come in, hey, we don't stop all year round with these kids, but if anybody out there listening to you, listening to me, I'm at McIntyre every day from eight thirty to one thirty. God has blessed me to be able to work out a community center and have these kids and bring the kids and let them know, you know. Oh, wow. We there somebody there for them, you know. That's good. That's good. So um, when people need to contact you about your organization and things like that, can you give them oh, your yeah. phone number? Oh, yeah. You can contact me, 334-530-7468. That's Terry Wooten. Or you can G hit me up, Terry. P three three four one two at gmail.com or me and mine's foundation gmail.com. I want to invite everybody out too to this Tuesday night coming up to Belling Ground. We're gonna have our first first youth mail form. Oh. So the youth get to speak to the mail. We're gonna see how many mail hey, can like show that. up. You know, I like but that. yeah, we want the youth to come out and we're gonna have them there and they're gonna ask their, their couple of questions. We're gonna have probably about three questions for the mail. The candidates, we ain't gonna put too much pressure on them, but we just want them to get and be engaged with the youth and let the youth, you know, let them hear what the youth got to say. So we're gonna do that at six o'clock uh, this Tuesday coming up, uh, June 25th at six o'clock, the old Belling Rap Community Center. So if you out there, y'all come out and I'm check them out. I'm definitely gonna try and see if I can make that. I think that yeah. is super awesome. Because because that's where it starts yeah. at, with the youth, you know. Yeah, and well, and, and that change. gives the youth a voice. To be exactly. able to ask questions, you know, exactly. that gives them a voice, and that, and a lot of times that's all they want. Exactly. It's to be heard. Exactly. So I think that is super amazing. You know, of course, I, amazing is my favorite word. But when I tell you, hey. when I hear amazing things, I like to say it's amazing. Oh, yeah. That is, that's awesome. Oh yeah, and I deal with kids that you know that have been through the, through the most. You know, they sitting with me and, they, and I'm reaching out to them, you know, and that be my blessing every day when I got a kid smiling or they told me a story and now, you know, they go from an anger process to just positive, you know, come in, hey, Miss Terry, we ready today? You know what that do to me? Man, I feel like I just got rich somebody gave me a million dollars. You know, because that's what he... That's right, because time amazing. is everything. Time yeah. is everything. Time and I will say for the people that are out there listening right now, um... Terry didn't actually come by himself. He oh, actually yeah. came with some of the kids from his program yes. um, so that they can actually meet some of the people that are here right yeah. now and see them face to face and be able to touch them and so that they'll know that these are people in your community that are doing businesses and, and that are giving back and reaching back and things like that. So I will say that he, he do. He has some of the kids right here at the facility with him. So we're going to introduce one of them that. to y'all. Uh, this one of my leaders, she's been great. I mean, fantastic. <laughs> Not only, I'm going to give her, her to get y'all the story before I introduce her. She's in a class with like 14 other guys. And the, the age group from go from 7 to 14. And she's been vocal and been a leader. And she's one of the kids been suffering through, you know, her father died from gun violence just a year ago. You know, so you know that made me not only wake up with 10 toes, I had to find them other 10 that had 20 toes down every day because I go hard for them. But I want her to introduce herself because I know uh, she, I, when I heard Felicia and Katina's voice, she's just like that. And I wanted her to actually meet them, let oh, her know wow, the good. sky is the limit and God did not just give her that name wow. Sky for no reason. So Sky, go ahead and introduce the world to your name. My name is Sky. I'm nine years old, and and I'm in fourth grade. Oh wow! 
Scott, and I will tell you that this is a bright young lady. When we actually connected and she gave me a hug, she was not afraid. She was not timid. She was not shy. And we, you know, and I appreciate Terry for, you know, really pouring into her life by telling her every day the sky's the limit because her name is Sky. So I hope that you take that sky and you know that the sky is the limit. So when you look up at the sky, there's no end to it. There is no end. It goes on and on and on. So never limit yourself. That's, there's always some other things that you are able and capable of doing. You just have to apply yourself. So we appreciate him for bringing her in here and being able to, you know, to speak. And she said it very strong, didn't she? Yeah. She was like, yeah. hey, I'm I mean, Sky. <laughs> she's been with me from day one to, to, you know, God blessed me to be able to get a community center. Actually, I had the kids at. You know, besides at my house all the time through the past couple of years, you know, I went from six kids to 12, 12 kids. Now I got 20. So, you know, that's why I've been a lot of y'all face that's for donation sponsor. You know, it's a non-profit organization. <laughs> but I have to go hard for the kids. You know, it, 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 when they see us do it, they go hard. You know, and we do academics in the morning, from academics to uh, we exercise. To, you know, we, we go through programs where we do a little basketball camp, uh, we do the soccer, we do everything. So right. I try to implement right. every sports and all kind of, you know, I don't want to be heavy on them right now with the school, but we do do academic worksheets, you know, every day just to keep their mind fresh. But, you know, man, I just we love, that's why I had to bring the kids you. with me. Yes, and, and, you know, I will tell you to really evaluate yourself for you that are listening evaluate yourself don't evaluate your success by material things and by money evaluate yourself by how you impact your community exactly. how you're reaching back into your community because i don't care how you know you can wear that gucci that louis but it doesn't mean anything when your community is suffering exactly you know because nobody wants to hear about your louis and your gucci exactly yeah. and they're hurting and they're suffering I'm glad so you said that. reach back into your community and please Stop thinking that you're feeding somebody when you give them a dollar. Exactly. You know, because you never know the day and the time will come where you're going to need that. Exactly. So support these people out here in the organizations, you know, that are actually reaching back and making an impact in the community. So, Terry Wooten, we really appreciate you for doing what you're doing and continue to do that. Yes, and stay focused. And, you know, anytime you need us, please just holler because we will definitely be there. And I think that forum... On Tuesday yeah. is going to be awesome. Yeah, and I will challenge some else. of these men that are in here already. Yeah, yeah, sure. If you are able, please go out there and support on Tuesday because the kids just want to be heard. Oh, yeah. Most of the time, that's all they want. They just want to be heard. So we need to give them that opportunity to be heard, ask the questions, and, and see what's on their mind. So I thank you for that, and I really appreciate you being here oh, yeah. and being able to bring Sky. Yeah. She has my card, so we're going to go to lunch one day, and we're going to do that. We're going to spend some time, so and, and you know what, I appreciate what I, that. I reach out to more people because I have people coming in, entertainers. I try to let everybody come in so they won't know they just talk. You come see these 20, you, you, you know, they, they, they give you their undivided attention. You know, they want to hear what you got to say. You're going to you're love them to death. I let anybody, you come to that class and you can, you know, speak with them, let them know right now we're trying to, I'm trying to get a couple field trips uh, for them to go to. Right. So we've been going around, you know, trying to get that well, together. Well, what people really, you know, you have to understand as well is that in order to be charitable, you need money. Exactly. <laughs> That's the bottom line. You know, you can't be charitable without it, you know, unless you're giving your time. And yes, time does matter. But when those kids need extra things, you know, you have to be able to do that. You have to be able to get transportation. You have to be able to provide toiletries and other things that they need. So, and you, know, you know, the first three weeks we did this program, that's three weeks, I had to literally feed all of them each day by myself but you got I, I didn't let that stop me i had no attitude about it everybody be like what 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 well they don't understand where i come from i'm doing it at the home now i gotta fix the room up fix that hole fix that i ain't gotta do that no more god took me one step at a time now i'm in a community center you know 
from a community center, you know, the sky's the limit. That's right, in their <laughs> you know, right so sky. So I keep God first and with the kids. <laughs> and, you know, they, they, um, and if you can, you can go check out the page, Men and Minds Foundation page on Facebook, which I would love for everybody to go and hit the like button. Check out some of the videos. Check out what the kids doing. We post and I record them every day, you know, every day. So please check it out, you know. And I'm hoping I can uh, get this trip and go check my man page? soon. What's the, uh, what's the page? Me and mine. The um, me and mine page. Yeah. And, um, you know, that's free, y'all. So the yeah. me and my page, go on, like the page, um, give it some love and support. Yeah. Definitely do that. And, um, you know, and if there's an opportunity that you can give to the organization to help out these young people, please do that as well. You know, a lot of times, you know, people don't understand that it only takes a little attention it and, takes and a, a little, little time. Attention. And, you know, that's all they want. But, you know, Terry, we definitely appreciate you coming out today. I appreciate And speaking on, with so. us and uh, bringing Sky and the other young ones out there. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. you know, we look forward to all the many things that you have in store and that you will be doing. You have my card, so please reach out. Um, and we just appreciate y'all. appreciate you. All Thank right. You. All right. Woo! I'm telling you, I mean, I, I just can't get enough of all of these men that are in here. Hey, there's some amazing really women there. Y'all went off on the show about a couple weeks ago. <laughs> we and did, I, I was so happy. I was like, oh, look, yeah, Davey is going we off. Because you know, I want everybody to understand. When you hear this show, and you, if you would have heard them women a couple weeks ago, you would have, you, you would know that they straight, they, they not only the backbone, they the brains. <laughs> they That's is some right. powerful women. And not only that, they deal with some powerful men, because we are powerful. To do the things we do, we are powerful, right. but we are uh, nothing without these women, you know. And I, I literally well, we say that, you know. we appreciate that, yeah. Definitely we, appreciate we it. Appreciate I speak for all the women that were in the room the other <laughs> few weeks ago. Yeah. And I will say that, you know, I think it's a great thing when you can sit back and acknowledge um, the woman in your life and the power that she has in your life and yeah. how you support one another, you know, in whatever you're doing, whether you're doing it together or separately, but at the end of the day, it's one team, one dream. Exactly. Okay, so that's what I love the most. So we appreciate that. We encourage that. We like to keep that motivation going. So everybody that are out there listening, please know that, you know, these people aren't successful because they're grinding by themselves. They got their wives out there right beside them doing the same thing. So, same. Yes. Thing. You know what I wanted to say, you know, for us. I met, I, when I got into it talking about the foundation, that just on my heart so much with these kids. You know, God led me to be doing music, set, be selling CDs. I was my own dis, uh, dis, distribution. I did my DVDs. You know, made plenty of money. Just, you know, doing my own thing. God led me, led me, led me, led me, led me. To, you know, it got to that point where people say, why you quit doing what you're doing to do this? Why you quit doing this? I tell them this. Ask God. Don't ask me because he will lead you to where you to your destination. And you know, from from the music to dealing with these kids, I I saw a greater cause. You know, right? And not the fact that this bring in the money. It's not about the money. It's about the lives you impact. You know, I had plenty of people impacted my life. You know, God blessed me to be around. Costa, how long I knew you? Oh, about twenty years. <laughs> An awesome entertainer, awesome radio host. Right, but you know, right. I got the experience that in high school to see, man, I could be on the radio. Looking at guys like that, you know, so I took from what I knew and the experience to put it in these kids and just to let them know, you know, every day counts. Okay, well, we appreciate you again, Terry, and, you know, all the men that are sitting here. We have one more guest, everybody. So you sit tight. Uh, because we have one more person. We saved the best for last. All our men are great, but we saved the best for last.